Hey everyone, this is High Performance Coach Michelle Weimer here. And today we are wrapping up our little mini series on loving your life. And um, so over this entire month, we've been talking about all the different areas and arenas that it's so important to um, have running strongly in your life and <clears throat> just loving and nurturing so that you can really have happiness and have a life that you love. Um, so many people decide to pursue a career, but it's often at the expense of their relationships um, or their health. And then they find that they're not happy later on because they're not finding happiness in all areas of their life. They give up so many other things for the pursuit of one area. And it, it, it ends up being that we're not happy or satisfied then. So today, the last thing we're going to talk about is loving what you do and doing what you love. Now, of course, the first thing most people think about when I say that, or if I were to ask you, do you love what you do, you would think about your career. And don't get me wrong, you know, I use the career as an example for something that people go after and then lose sight of the other areas of their life. But having a career you love, it is important. Um, having passion for what you do for a living, knowing that your life's work is something that's important to you, that's very important. That's all well and good. And unfortunately, so many people are stuck or they feel stuck in a career that they can't get out of. Um, but I've talked about that many, many times before um, in my blog posts. If you um, have never been to my website, it's just michellewimer.com. You can click on the blog. You can search for work-related posts or loving your work, and you, you can read many of them. So today I'm talking about something different though. I'm talking when I talk about doing what you love, I want to talk about doing what you love for fun. For fun. <laughs> your hobbies, the things you enjoy doing, the things that bring you joy in your life. I mean, again, this whole month has been about loving your life. And if you're not doing things that you love and enjoy for fun, you're missing a big part. And you can probably think back to maybe when you were younger, before you had kids, before you had a career, before you had a mortgage to pay, uh, before life got a little complicated, you probably had some hobbies or some things that you really enjoyed and loved doing. And somewhere along the lines, maybe you found out or you, you thought, man, I, I don't have time for this anymore. And you got busy and there was a project at work that had a deadline and you had to get that done. So you thought, well, I guess this week I won't go play racquetball with my friends or, um, oh, well, I guess I don't have time to play my guitar or paint or read because I'm too tired or too exhausted or I have to tend to the kids so I can't possibly do X, Y, Z. Like whatever it is, what happens almost always is we decide to prioritize and rightfully so again if you have a big project at work that has a deadline yeah it takes priority but what we do then is we keep pushing aside that hobby or that thing we enjoy doing that thing that brings us peace and relaxation and joy and eventually we just keep pushing it aside, keep pushing it aside. And then what happens is we don't have that in our lives anymore. And unfortunately, um, it, it can make us have some extreme stress, you know, like we don't have an outlet for that stress or that overwhelm that we have at work. It can, um, well, <laughs> it can bring distress and unhappiness because we don't have that outlet. So having a hobby or something you enjoy doing that brings you that release is super, super important to your overall well-being. And here's the thing. Studies actually show that having a hobby not only affects your mental well-being. So again, it helps with overwhelm. It helps you control stress and manage it. Um, but it also helps your physical well-being because it lowers your cortisol levels, um, which in turn helps with your body mass index, your overall, that, that belly that you get around your waist. Um, it 
can help in, in many other ways too, especially if it's a physical activity that you enjoy doing for fun. Um, but it is good for your overall physical and mental well-being. So, you know, a couple of weeks ago when I talked about your self-care, hey, having a hobby is part of that as well. So it all works together. And, you know, just living in alignment with your values and the things that are important to you, like those two pieces right there are super important to doing what you love and loving what you do. So if you find that it's been a while since you've picked up that guitar or played that piano or um, read a book that you love, watched a movie that you enjoy just for fun to make you laugh, um, you know, whatever it is you do, painting, crafting, like I'm not a crafter, that would actually stress me out. But there are many other things that I enjoy doing. And I try to make sure I incorporate those in on a weekly basis if I can. And so think about that. Like what could you do on a daily, weekly, monthly, even yearly basis that can bring that joy back to you, that can give you that release and something that you can do for fun to just enjoy life. Um, and here's the thing. If you decide, you know what, I really am too damn busy. I don't have time then look for something little. Look for something that brings you joy. A perfect example for me is I love music. I love to listen to music. And so um, on those weeks or those days when I'm too busy to do something that's a hobby of mine, something that I enjoy that relieves stress, I just add music into my life. Um, and I can tell you that I have made doing laundry fun. And I don't know about you, but laundry really isn't a fun thing to do on the regular, but I have found a way to make it fun. I crank up the music and then I just get my mindset right and I enjoy my time while I'm sorting laundry. It sounds silly, but it's real and it works. So if say you love music, then add music to your day. Listen to it while you're at work. Listen to it while you're out for a run. Listen to it while you are sorting the laundry or cooking dinner. Like find a way to incorporate things you love. Maybe you you do love drawing or or doing artwork. <clears throat> then when you feel like you have to volunteer for that uh, school project or that school fundraiser, volunteer in an area that you can enjoy. Volunteer to do the posters if you like to do artwork. You know, like think of ways to add joy to your life by doing hobbies or things you love doing and get them into your your day get them into your week get them into your month i mean even if you don't have time to read say you're too exhausted at night by the time you get everybody to bed and get everything done so that you're prepped and ready for the next day well okay you're too tired to read but maybe the next day on your way to work you start listening to a book on audible um, or you listen to a podcast you know, figure out a way, find a way to bring joy into your life because this life is worth living a life that you love. We don't, we don't, we don't live so we can work. We work so we can live. So live a life you love. Find a way to add joy into your life every day. And you know what? If you're struggling in any of these areas that we've talked about, your health, both physical and mental, your career, your, um, <clears throat> you, you know, your well-being, your overall happiness, then let's talk. Um, I'm going to put a link in today's post with this video uh, is to an offer for you to have a free strategy session with me. If you've never had a strategy session with a certified high performance coach, I can guarantee you it will be a game changer even in just one session. So make sure that you check that out. Click the link. I invite you to do it. I would love to speak with you and help you get yourself set on a path towards a happier life that you can love. So until then, this is Certified High Performance Coach Michelle Weimer. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye for now.